In this video, I am going to explain main hip flexors. I am going to explain five muscles. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five hip flexors. This one is psoas. And this one is iliagus. Iliagus. These two muscles together sometimes these muscles are called iliosaurus. These muscles originate from deep inside of abdomen and pelvis. Then these two muscles kind of fuse together right around the uh, inguinal area and attach to femur. These two muscles are very, very important for hip flexion. Psoas and iliacus. What is this muscle? This is tensor fascia lata. Tensor fascia lata. Okay, this is on anterior part of pelvis and hip. This is rectus femoris. Rectus femoris. This is part of quadriceps. You know, quadriceps has four muscles. However, rectus femoris is only the quadriceps muscle that originates from pelvis. Other three muscles originate from femur. That is why rectus femoris can do hip flexion. Because this muscle crosses hip joint. That's why it can do hip flexion. Flexion. This is not only for knee extension, okay? And this thin, long muscle is sartorius. Sartorius, this is very, very long, long muscle. So that's about it. Five muscles, mainly. If you think about biomechanics more and more, you can name more muscles, like uh, gluteus medius and some adductor muscles you know adductor muscles actually can do flexion but not strong as other muscles let's say today's five muscles is main hip flexor okay it's kind of a lot of muscles right however hip flexion is not strong as hip extension if you think about it what are main hip extensors? They are gluteus maximus. Gluteus maximus. And hamstrings. These two guys are so, so powerful uh, hip extensors. If you think about it, is psoas and iliacus as big as Gluteus maximus? Maybe not. Is rectus femoris as big as hamstrings? It is not. So, these two hip extensors are kind of the biggest muscle in human body. So, hip extension is relatively stronger than hip flexion. Okay? This, each hip flexor is not very strong. But, we have to use hip flexion a lot for walking and running and uh, walking on the stairs, right? So if one of these muscles gets tight or dysfunction, other four muscles need to compensate for that muscle. Plus, these muscles are not very strong compared to hip extensors. So let's say your source and iliacus are not working properly. Other three muscles need to compensate for psoas and iliacus. What's gonna happen? These three muscles need to work more and more and more. That can create tight hip joint or maybe tight knee joint. Makes sense, right? That is why adequate usage of hip flexor is very, very important for pelvis and hip mechanics. In this video, I explained basic anatomy of hip flexors. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button.
comment and subscribe. See you next video.